What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sakyaflos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Ruined King. So as usual, if you guys want to enjoy it, consider leaving a like and hitting that big red sub button down below. I'd really appreciate the support, but most importantly, you won't miss future uploads here on the channel. So thank you for doing so or you've already done it. And with that being said, let's continue where we last left off, which is of course um, in the game. And here we are in the Docks Harbor area actually. So uh, I took the liberty of returning from Grey Harbor, which if I, if I show you right now, it should have been over here. Um, the docks block it past that is actually Grey Harbor. So yeah, I took the liberty of coming back here and pretty much um, we're going to go ahead and head back to Miss Fortune's Manor. But before we do that, um, there's a couple things I want to show you first. So the first thing is this, this uh, you know, this giant board right here. Um, this is the bounty board. So it's a very interesting feature because this is something like, uh, you know, how you get the... Um, you know, like, uh, you, know, I, you know, I'm gonna quote Assassin's Creed here because that's what's coming to my mind right now. So if you recall, in the, if you know, in the, if you've played Assassin's Creed, you'll know that there is, of course, um, assassination missions and missions and stuff like that. So this is kind of similar. Um, so yeah, we have the bounty board right here. And obviously, as you can see, we've already taken out Malik, which was in um, the Grey Harbor area. And looks like we have three more bounties added, which is, of course, gonna be Giffen, the Hextech Thief, House Crasher Corvin, and uh, the veil jumper so it looks like high value targets um nine you know level nine level 10 and level 24 respectively so it looks like we have to um, complete those bounties at you know possibly some later some later time or something but yeah this looks like a very cool feature so i'm looking forward to that um so yeah that's basically the bounties that we have uh, checked out uh, have we acquired them though just to make sure that we have acquired them um oh we have to complete them then only we can claim them okay so immediately it's just going to be automatically catalog for us all right so um, that's one thing I want to show you, the bounty board. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the fast travel system. Now, um, if you recall, I said in the when we finished the Grey Harbor part, I said that I was hoping there was going to be a fast travel system because the last thing I want is to you know move around, um, you know, just navigate around the, the entire map by foot. That would take a lot of time. Unfortunately, I by the looks of the fast travel system, I'm not sure that you know we will be able to totally omit out walking by foot. That is because, as you can see here, there are only two spots where that we can fast travel to so far, which is, of course, the Slums Market and then back to Bilgewater Harbor. Now, this is interesting because, um, you know, by the looks of it, there should be more places that we can fast travel to. I mean, there are, um, you know, the circular nodes here that we should be able to go to. I'm not sure if these are just indicators of different areas or, you know, there will be, you know, potential fast travel spots uh, when in future when we progress through the game. I'm hoping there is going to be fast travel spots uh, when we progress through the game because, um, let me tell you, I'm not too keen on walking walking around the entire map um you know in i'll probably do it regardless to get to you know to progress through the playthrough but uh you, you know if it does come down to it walking through the entire map i'm probably gonna do it off camera that's because you know it's gonna waste everyone's time and it's gonna take up too much time but i will show you definitely you know the first time we enter an area and the first time we complete an area but you know when we're done with the area and we need to head back to a certain place i'll probably skip that part just to save everybody some time so um yeah that's pretty much what i want to talk about so let's go ahead and just uh use the um fast travel feature and we're gonna cut the journey short and head to the slums market and immediately we should be able to head up to misfortunes manor so hopefully that works okay so here we are in the slums market and by the looks of it uh, there are a couple of things that we want to grab so we have some loot here and we will of course as usual speak to some people that we can speak to some of the npcs stay in motion she says what's that supposed to even mean allow is right here possibly you can check with her if you want to <laughs> uh, more slums market um, manuscripts uh, they say Gangplank is dead and surely must have joined the Black Mist. Cursed by a cycle of ambition and self-hatred. Okay, we'll leave that to him. Uh, let's go ahead and just head back down. And this is where I believe, you know, we bought the um, one of the idols or something. And this is the accessory shop. The shop. Okay, so it looks like we are just going to go ahead and head this way. We're not going to be too concerned about the other spots for now. We are Our main priority is, of course, heading to Miss Fortune's Manor. Uh, first, let's check out what this room does first. The door is locked. So potentially we need to find a key or something for that. But you know what? We'll do that some other time. Um, let's just go ahead and head to the uh, Misfortunes Estate first. Hopefully the enemies don't respawn. Because um, another thing to, to note is that, you know, uh, when we completed the Grey Harbor dungeon and we essentially repeat the uh, boss, the goddess or something, um, I thought, you know, we would be free of facing enemies in that area. But apparently the enemies respawn. Um, so yeah, I had to fight through those enemies. Hopefully the Warf Rats don't respawn here. Um, by the looks of it, they are... They do respawn. Okay. 
They're running away, actually. Oh, they're running away, so we they can actually flee the battle and we don't have to fight them. Um, it's alright, though. <laughs> Okay, we'll just deal with them and then we'll, we'll complete it. Um, I think... Uh, do we want to time-lapse this? Because, nah, I think, you know what? I'll just show you the whole battle. Alright, so, I have the wind crit. We'll try to make short work of them. I really don't want to waste too much time here. Okay, that's a blow. Please kill it. There we go. Like strike from Okay, let's just uh, do a wind wall. I want to use Brom's uh, multi ability. It is fine. They have many. Let's just do. Have me. Let's just do heroic leap and take everyone out. I'll do a technical barrier just for the sake of it. Not really too concerned. We should win here. Thank you, brother. Friend. All right, there you go. Okay, if you get the multi-kill XP and... Whoa, we don't get any XP? Um... Fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm totally misjudged that. Okay, so looks like there is no incentive to uh, battling fleeing enemies then. Okay, so that's... Uh, you know, we keep that in mind so that next time we don't need to waste too much time. Let's just go ahead and pick up this manuscript here first. Apparently, I missed this the first time we passed by here. Um, okay, it's okay. And I think there was a chest here or something, right? Um, no, I think that was just a manuscript. Okay, so now we're going to quickly run back to Misfortune's Manor. And uh, let's just uh, continue with the story, essentially. Okay. Alright. Uh, Misfortune said you'd be back. Head on up to the parlor room. You remember the way, eh? Up to live inside. So I can flow, no snooping around. You ready to head in? Of course. Please proceed. All right. Proceed directly to the parlor. All right. Hopefully, we could get Misfortune as a teammate this time because you know I think that would um, there would be more options uh, with her or with her aboard. After all, she is uh, you know something like the VIP of Bilgewater. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and meet her. Um, I hope there's also a fast travel next time directly to her manor. I don't want to you know take the entire walking trip here essentially. Okay, so the same crewmates that we spoke to the first time, we're just going to skip them then. Let's just go ahead and head into her manor. Okay, so we can head there. Maybe some other time, maybe later. Alright, so the parlor room, she should be in here. Let's just go ahead and meet her. Are you collecting strange men? I see you caught a new one. We come from Grey Harbor. We visited the temple, communed with the spirits of my ancestors, and they warned of another heroine to come. What? This can't be happening. Not again. We lost so many. Sarah. Are you absolutely sure? This isn't just some one-off attack. There is more. Gangplank is alive, and somehow he is behind this. That's impossible. You know it is. I killed him and sank his ship. I'm... I'm a busy woman. I don't have time to listen to ghost stories. Sarah, you burned his ship and took his city, but he clung to life. I don't believe it. I can't. You can and you must, Sarah. He stole the relics from the abandoned Puru Temple in Grey Harbor. How did this happen? How did he escape? It does not matter how he survived. 
we must find out what he is planning. That's not a mystery. If he is alive, he's planning to overthrow me. Whatever his intentions towards you, the danger to Bilgewater is far greater. Sarah, I had a vision. <laughs> the goddess sure likes giving you those. A heroine is coming, and Gangplank is the cause of it. He has fled to the Shadow Isles, and we must follow. I can't believe this. I spent years planning my revenge. I cleaned up this city and cleared out all the filth he left behind. After all that, now I must hunt down my mother's murderer and kill him again? Sarah, I... Out! have gone better. I'm surprised it didn't go worse. Her hatred of Gangplank is overwhelming. I cannot heal the wounds he left on her heart, but I'd hoped the scars would not be so fresh. The past isn't so easily discarded. That woman will cut down anyone who gets in her way. Sarah will play some part in driving back the mist. I have seen this. Stop! If what you say is true, if another harrowing is coming and Gangplank is behind it, I have to protect Bilgewater. I believe that together we can stop it. The Goddess has set us on this path. All right. But whatever happens, Gangplank is mine. And this time, he's gonna stay dead. Now that we are together, it is time. We will face the Black Mist at its source, the Shadow Isles. About time. But won't we need a ship? You really aren't from around here. <laughs> we can take one of mine. But we're going to need a crew. A very good idea. Brom has recently drowned, and does not wish to drown again. I've got plenty of men, but we'll need a good navigator. And without a gunner to man the cannons, we won't even make it out of the harbor. Sounds like you've got people in mind. They'll be holed up in the Watchtower District, as usual. Shouldn't be too hard to find them. I just hope they're not too far into their drinks. The drink or two sweetens the journey. I plan on drinking the whole way. We'll share a toast. To Gangplank. May he die as he lived. Brutally. Wonderful. So looks like we have a new member now. Miss Fortune has finally joined us and looks like her role is damage and buffs as usual as expected. Um, Stunning himself the Pride Queen of Built Water, Sarah Fortune earned the title by blowing up the flagship of Gangplank, the Reaver King, who killed her parents. Now, a few years later, she rules Built Water with an iron fist. Those who underestimate her will face a swift and unpredictable opponent and likely a bullet or two in their guts, as expected. Um, in terms of dungeon abilities, Miss Fortune has a keen eye for hidden details. When scanning the environment, she can see things that others cannot. The captain can use double up a dungeon ability to hit two, up to two foes at range, dealing damage to them and initiating combat. Um, what else? What else? The first time Misfortune targets an enemy with Love Tap, she deals extra damage and applies a buff of the same name. Many of Misfortune's abilities are enhanced when targeting enemies with Love Tap. Essentially the same as uh, we started, you know, when we are uh, essentially the, in the tutorial segment with uh, Misfortune. So, um, each turn gains a, gains a stack of strut, increasing a hair. Strut allows Misfortune to act with blazing speed. The buff is removed when she takes damage. Um, yeah, this is basically well, very similar to League, essentially. So, um, you know, I've I'm, you know, I, well, in League, I don't really play much as an ADC, but uh, I, I have a rough idea, essentially. Not not the greatest, but a brief idea. Okay, so it looks like we can only, so it looks like we have to select a party, actually. Um, would you like to view a tutorial on how to use this menu? Sure. 
All champions will appear in this area. Um, you can add or remove a champion by interacting with the portion of your party is already full. You must first remove an active champion before replacing them with another. Um, all champions active or not will earn XP when completing quests and combat encounters. Each champion has a unique and useful set of abilities. Mix and match your party to find exciting synergies. Okay, so looks like we have we only have slots for three champions actually. Um, a shame. I thought we could have possibly get more, um, but it's all right. So looks like we can have access to I think um, three of them. So I think you know based on the fact that we just got a new champion, I'm gonna put her in. Uh, Misfortune is definitely gonna be in. Um, Alawi and Yasuo. Why the hell not? Because Yasuo is very good with the critical, and I think they'll be you know very nice to um, combo off uh, Misfortune. Um, and Alawi, of course, should be able to tank damage, so she's gonna stand in for Brom. Um, you know what? I think I'm okay with this. So this set is uh, kind of all right. So let's go ahead and roll uh, roll with this. Okay, so looks like we have to assemble Fortune's crew now. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start uh, using her <laughs> right off the bat. Um, okay, so looks like we have to head to the Watchtower. Do we have enough time? Yeah, we, I think we have enough time. So the Watchtower is to the uh, this side actually. Um, head through? No, we can't head through there. How the hell are we gonna get there then? How the hell are we gonna get there if we cannot go there? Okay, I'm a bit confused. Okay, let me just go ahead and grab all these first. Or oh no, maybe it's not there. Maybe we have to head back down to the uh, you know the guy that was blocking off the path earlier. Uh, maybe we have to head down there first and then uh, we head on over there. So yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Also, one thing I noticed that Misfortune actually ran runs faster. I think maybe because you know she is after all a smaller character. Um, you know, I'm I'm predicting that a lot of the lighter characters are gonna run uh, faster. Stuff like uh, you know we're gonna get Misfortune. I'm um, a bit of a spoiler. We're probably gonna get Pike and um, you know Ari as well. So those two, I think they're gonna be much faster on their feet. So yeah, I think that's uh, gonna work nicely for us. Okay, so since we have a little bit of time, let's go ahead and head to the Watchtower first, and then we'll see what happens. If we run into some enemies, we'll possibly fight them, then we'll end the video. If not, we will possibly meet um, Miss Fortune's crew and finish it. This place looks a lot better than some other parts of Bilgewater. That's the Watchtower district for you. This district is on a higher elevation than some of the slums below. So the people down below feel like they're being watched, being judged. Doesn't help that Graham has a giant telescope in this place. That one of your crew. That's right, Graham's place is on the upper level in the northwest part of the district. He's my navigator. Isabel is on the lower level in the southeast part of the district. She's a cannoneer and really good with devices and gadgets. Once we scoop up those two, we should be ready to set sail. It will be nice to meet more friendly faces. <laughs> I'm sure it will be, bro. Okay, so looks like we have two people to meet. Um, what is it? The Graham and Gra Graham and Isabel. So looks like um, one of them is at the northwest. So by the looks of it, possibly here, and the other one, the lady, should be somewhere down here in the ordinance storehouse. So um, two separate areas, and looks like we are gonna have to, you know, split off. Uh, taking that into consideration, I think on second thought we will end the video here because there is surely not enough time to, um, you know, meet. Uh, both of them in this episode hell i don't think there'll be enough time to meet one of them in this episode we're already about 19 minutes in so um with that being said yeah we're gonna end the video here and uh what i'll do is we'll possibly you know we'll possibly do graham in one episode and maybe isabel in the other episode we'll see how it goes but yeah uh we are gonna end the video here so if you guys enjoyed this episode of ruin cake consider leaving a like as well as hitting it a big red sub button down below i really appreciate the support but most importantly you won't miss future uploads in the channel so thank you for doing so oh you've already done it and with that being said this is a signing off thank you all for watching hopefully i catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.